welcome back to my channel. Um, first, I just want to say this is a weird filming day for me. Uh, my boyfriend and I actually both got unexpected snow days, which was fabulous. Um, so he is here. So if you hear things in the background that you don't normally hear, that's what's going on there. I also feel like I generally talk lower when somebody else is in the house. So hopefully you can still hear me okay. I apologize for that. It's just kind of like a self-conscious thing that I have going on. So anyway, today I have a small shop haul. Um, three of these are from Etsy and this one down here that I've already opened is just something that I wanted to throw in um, to share. So I'll start with that one and then we'll get into the rest of the packages. I have opened everything so you didn't have to see me struggle uh, with that and I pulled out invoices from the ones that I could find easily without sneaking a peek at everything. So I'm going to put all of this to the side. And the first thing I wanted to share was the February sampler set from diamondpaintingdrills.com. I purchased this when I didn't have anything else coming in, so I just decided to open them. Um, but I did want to share the sets because these are just some of my favorite little samplers around. Um, so in this month's set, you got two, four, six, eight, ten ABs and two crystals really beautiful pinks and reds for Valentine's Day and just February in general. I believe the sets are the same colors this month. Yes, it looks like they are. Um, so if you've never ordered from diamondpaintingdrills.com, they have these samplers every month. You can purchase them in these little jars or they have um, like larger bags, but the month that they are, so February sampler, during the month of February is on sale. So these sets here are $20 um, as opposed to their regular 25. So it's kind of worth it to purchase during the month if you're interested in them. It's also just a really gr great way to get a collection of crystals and ABs. Um, if you just want a few to have in your stash, it's a really great way. Um, yeah, it's a really good way for me to personally to collect crystals. I don't really purchase a lot of crystals, at least I haven't before, um, but these little sets are perfect for that. So that is diamondpaintingdrills.com. I'll leave a link down below. I think I'll be posting this video after February, so this set will still be available, but it won't be the sale price. Um, but I'm very excited to see what the March set looks like. So that's the first thing. Now let's get into patty wax. So normally I when I purchase from Patty Wax I'm purchasing one of their um canvases from Distracted by Diamonds which is their diamond painting business that they stock in the same uh website or Etsy shop I should say but I've been on the hunt for some of their cover minders <laughs> so I made a purchase they had all of the ones that I wanted they had in stock so I decided to pick them up so the first thing you get from Patty Wax, you always get a little thank you note and some stickers. Oh my gosh, this one's so cute. Look, it's Hermione. <laughs> and then we have the Ravenclaw Diadem, I think is how you say it. And a Polyjuice Potion sticker. Love that. I also got this little flamingo. Is this like a pencil topper? This is so cute. I don't know what I'll do with it, but it's cute. Maybe I'll give it to one of my nieces. And then, ooh, this looks delicious. It's like a watermelon, candy watermelon slice. I'll be eating that after this video. <laughs> okay, so I purchased quite a few minders. Um, if you've never purchased cover minders from them, they're very large, um, but they're very beautiful. I'm actually gonna grab a knife to open these. So the first one that I purchased is called Candy Hearts. And I actually got this minder to go with the Valentine Kitty um, kit that I purchased from them. If you watched my week of unboxings, I believe that was day two. And I just thought this would be really cute with that kit. I also purchased Professor Snape. So of course, oh, this one, I'm open this way course Alan Rickman phenomenal I love him and I have quite a few of the Harry Potter kits from Diamond Art Club I also have one from Diamond Dots 
So I thought this would be a fun minder to use on one of those. Also just Alan Rickman. <laughs> and then the last four that I purchased, I absolutely love the Golden Girls. I think that's a common theme within the diamond painting community. So many of us just love um, the Golden Girls. I actually have a Golden Girls cover minder collection. So I will put in a picture here so you can see all of them. Um, so when Robin came out with this set, I knew that I needed them and I lucked out and they had all four in stock at the time of my purchase. So this of course is Dorothy B. Arthur. Um, I got, I could vomit just looking at you, which really accurate for many, many times in my life. And then we have Miss Betty White. I was devastated when she passed away. So we have Rose. Gee, with only three hours of sleep, I can be as bitchy as you. I feel like she must have said this to uh, Blanche somewhere along the way. <laughs> My personal favorite, Sophia Petrillo. Oh, she's my favorite. Blow it out, you dirty bag. Again, I feel like she probably said that to Blanche somewhere along the way. And then, of course, Miss Rue McClanahan. Sometimes I find these bags so hard to get into. There we go. Another favorite, Blanche. Grandma Hollingsworth always said I was a little flighty, or was it a little floozy? <laughs> I love Golden Girls. I could watch it all day, every day. I went through a phase where it was literally the only thing I would watch on TV because, what was it? Um, Oh, what's that channel? I can't think. They would play it all the time. So, yes, very happy with those from uh, Patty Wax. I have quite a few of their cover minders and definitely wanted to add those to my collection. The next package is some wax and putty. So this package is from Randa's Crafty Corner. Oh, little frog. Okay, let's see, what all do we have here? Oh my God, look at the pig. So we have a mint and a cherry dum-dum. A little pig and a little frog, cute. Looks like we have some instructions. So I got some scented putty and I got her new 2.0 wax. So I've used her scented putty many times um, and I love it. But when I saw she was coming out with a uh, 2.0 scented like hard wax, I definitely wanted to pick that up. I never tried her first wax. Um, she kind of had stopped making it when I found her shop and was focusing on the putty. So I think I'll open the putty first. Oh my gosh. The penguin washi. Alright, so I picked up three putties. So I got cheesecake and berries, which I'm very excited about. I've wanted to pick this one, oh my gosh, up many times, but I just never pulled the trigger. So when I went back to make this purchase, I it was in stock, so I grabbed it. So if you've never used um, Randa's putty, it comes in between two pieces of release paper. It's just a little block of putty. I pull a little piece off and rub it between my fingers to like the length of my multi-placer. And then I just kind of pack it in there. Um, I'm sure you could just, you know, rock it back and forth in there but that's how I use her putty. Is that even how she says to use her putty? Um, it looks like she says to stab your pen um, into the putty, but I, the way I just explained is how I use museum putty. So I just kind of did the same thing with her putty, but Either way works, apparently. And then I have rose water and champagne toast. I'm actually not going to smell these ones yet, but these were limited edition for Valentine's Day. So I got the putties and the matching wax. So this is so cute. I love that. Okay, so this is champagne toast. 
So that means this one is rose water. I love these little boxes. Really cute. This is a large, sorry for my mess over here. This is a large pot. Oh, that smells like, okay. Ooh, that smells so good. <laughs> Let me pull out the putty. Cause sometimes I feel like putty and wax can smell different. Oh, that's a smaller amount, but that's okay. Oh, this smells so good. I don't, I don't even know what it smells like, but here's the wax. It's actually like, it's, it's not giving to my finger. She actually did this thing when she was, when she made her video and she was like tapping on it. <laughs> and I don't have long fake nails, which she does. Um, so in her video, it was like making this very satisfying sound, but I'm happy to report with short natural nails. You can still hear that sound. <laughs> This smells so good. I'm really intrigued by this. Um, yeah. I love that it's just white. I don't know why, but I do. Um, there, I have some other putty, or not putties, I have some other waxes that are colored. And sometimes I feel like, you know, you get residue on the drills and then your drills are kind of the wrong color. And sure, you can brush it off with a toothbrush, but does it ever really fully go away? Ugh debatable. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this. Again, this is a very large container of wax, so I feel like it's a pretty good value. I believe, actually, I have my invoice right here. Her putty is $6 and the scented wax was 7 I feel like that's a pretty reasonable price for wax. I don't know. Let me know your opinion down below. But let's smell this champagne toast. Wow, this one's really full. Oh, Wow, this one smells amazing. I don't even know what it smells like, but I love it. And the wax and the, the wax and the putty, wax putty, um, they smell pretty similar. Sometimes I feel like, like I said before, with different types of formula, the smell can be a little off, but these actually smell quite similar to each other. And this champagne toast is delightful. Wow, I love that. Okay, so I'm really excited. Um, I will report back on the wax. Um, I'm probably going to use it on my next kit. So whenever I do that post review, um, there should be some report on it. All right, so that's Randa's Crafty Corner. And then the last thing I have is a pen. And it is a pen that I am very excited about and that I have been dying to look at. So I opened this box to take my invoice out and I was like, just sneak, just sneak a little peek. Nobody will know, but I didn't because I wanted you guys to have my genuine reaction. So this pen is from Butterfly Effect Wares. Um, one of my favorite shops. I have quite a collection of pens from them. Um, let's see, what are these? Ooh, gobstoppers. Oh my gosh. I haven't had those in so long. So you always get a butterfly sticker. This one's really pretty. And here is their business card. Okay, are we ready? I The last time I opened a pen from Butterfly Effect Wears, it was the rose gold pen, which everybody loved, rightfully so, because it's gorgeous. But I had mentioned that I had been trying to get one of these pens and I had missed every drop and I think I think I filmed it on a Saturday, so that night they had a drop of these, and I got one. Are you ready? So this is one of their black prismatic pearl pens. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh, this is gorgeous. So this is one of the lighter-ish uh, versions of that pen. It's amazing the different colorways they can get out of that set of blanks. Um, I've seen like a darker actual black one and I think I might try for another one. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to try in this next drop because I want other people to be able to get them that I've been trying. Um, but maybe if they do another one I'll try to go for one of the black ones or maybe I'll go for <laughs> another one. I don't know. But isn't this gorgeous? I don't know what kit I'm going to use this for, but actually I wonder if I could use it on my next kit. I might. Isn't it? Oh, 
I love it. Okay, so that is everything. Uh, just a few shops to share with you guys today. Um, I don't think I have any... Eh, I'm probably lying. Never mind. I was going to say, I don't think there'll be a small shop haul for a while, but it's probably a lie. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know if there are any small shops out there that you think I should try. I love supporting small businesses and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.